How are you guys doing? It's Josh from Mountmotor.com. Today we'll be answering most of your questions about the Blades Gas Scooter. Uh, mostly it'll just be a review, but uh, you'll get some valuable info about these scooters, so let's get to it. Now some of you are probably asking questions like, why would I get a Blades Gas Scooter and not a GoPad? Well, I'm going to answer that question for you very simply. And the big word here is price. Blades Gas Scooters are not available on the market right now, but you can find them anywhere in Chinatown and downtown, you know, anywhere you go. You can find them on Amazon or on, or on eBay. It is true that they are no longer manufactured. When they were being manufactured, they were costing about $1,200, $1,300 for the uh, higher end models. GoPad's higher end model, the Trail Ripper, is around, what, $2,200 now? So let's get into the specs. Blades XL Gas Scooter is equipped with a 40cc high performance Tanaka engine. It has base horsepower of 2.2 and is fully upgradable. You can upgrade the exhaust, the carburetor, even put a big bore kit on it. I've seen Blades Gas Scooters who have 6-7 horsepower on them and they can go around 50 to 60 miles an hour with NOS intake installed. So the beautiful part about these engines is that you can fully customize and modify them to your every need for speed or simply for just the looks. You can do anything with this engine. And if you look at the frame, the frame on the gas scooter is actually very, very strong, holding up to about 420 pounds. That's the capacity. You could pretty much put two people on there that weigh about 200 pounds. It's made out of steel. You're not gonna bend this thing. I've also upgraded my scooters to aluminum decks, not only for looks, but for strength as well. It is true though that the wooden decks are more flexible and made better for jumping. But I'm not a jumper. <laughs> you can fully customize anything you want. The rims are made out of aluminum alloy, which are also customizable, and they're split rims, so you can easily take out these split rims and mix and match with different colors. The handlebars are also made out of steel and are fully detachable and interchangeable. braking system on the Blades 40 is one disc brake in the front and one rear friction brake. I have no idea why they put the friction brake in there. To me, I just it just seems useless to me because as you use the friction brake, you also wear out the rear tire. It's always good to alternate between the two, but mainly I use the front disc brake. For more stopping power, you should use both at the same time. Never use the friction brake on its own. Some other useful tips on your Blades gas scooter. Remember to always clean out your air filter and your gas filter. Also look into cleaning out your muffler at least once every six months. I have a video on YouTube that can show you how to do this. It's also a good idea to rotate your tires, just like any ordinary car. Just simply remove the front tire and the rear tire and switch them. I have a whole bunch of safety videos, instructional videos, and review videos about this scooter. So simply go to my channel and check out all my videos. Mountmotor.com does not have any products at the moment. We are looking into it and should have more products by Christmas time. We apologize about that, but we're doing the best that we can to get the best products on our website. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me personally at mountmotor at gmail.com. You can also email the company at support at mountmotor.com. Thanks for watching and have fun riding. Thank you.